was supposed to do this like forever ago. Sometimes I try to make videos and I get so drunk that I forget what I was talking about. And I'm like, did I mention this part? Yes, I did. But, oh. And then I take like three takes of the same thing that I've said ten times already. It's exhausting, you know? So I just, I really gotta like, moderation. Moderation is key. Wow. So, Jimmy Screamer Claws. Mm -hmm. What the fuck's going on in your head? He's like, well, let's just, let's just do this. Who cares? You know all these things that people call like morals? Erase it. All of it. I like watched this one uh, review actually that someone was uh, talking about it, and he was like. Jimmy was on drugs when he did this. He was on a drug. It was a drug. It was, and he was on it. I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that is correct. Did we not watch the, um, did we not watch the same movie, or, like, was that unclear? God for fucking bid. If someone made something artistic and was on drugs, can you imagine the fucking audacity? Oh my god! Is this... What is... What is this? Is this a moral thing? Like... Oh no! You just finished watching a movie that had pedophilia, bestiality, necrophilia, Fucking child abuse. Do you want me to keep going? Cause I can. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> Let me just... This movie takes place in fucking Rapeville of Sex Planet with children, uh, in the time period of 90s fucking video games. Everyone talks weird. I don't know if it's supposed to be this way, but it works in his favor. You know, it's kind of like, gee, mom, did you make pancakes today? Oh, and you cooked them with my labia, my favorite. It's like, what? Uh, three months has gone by since I've watched this movie. Um, one of them is little Johnny, son of a bitch, who, uh, kind of, like, walks around and just has, like, a shitty life because his mom's a bitch and his dad's a fucking asshole. So, like, he's just like, whatever, everything sucks, but I have a dog. He's like a demon dog from hell. He's just like, hi, I'm an asshole. Fucking something that happens where his mom and his dad die. So he, like, fucks his mom while, like, maggots are falling out of her face. And then he fucks his dog, the uh, uh, dog. And... <laughs> There's this little girl, this poor girl, where, like, she doesn't even do anything wrong. She's just born in this shit life. Like, fucking A. I thought my parents sucked because I had to do homework in front of them on a timer till I was 17 but no guess what my dad never hung me from the ceiling by my face he never made me have sex with strange men when I was like four or five six seven eight never I got this fugly little kid with the, the face on his face it's his brother's face how would you like to walk around with your dead brother's face right there just like hi how are you and your parents are just like, you should have been like your brother, even though I don't know what he would have been like, because he's dead. <laughs> Which speaks fucking volumes about their intelligence. We get into this whirlwind shit where everyone is spiraling into this hell that is led by this fucking dumbass dog. Would you put the thing down? Oh, did I mention there's like this older guy that is... Uh, <laughs> sex with his sister like what and just like 
I, I don't know the direct quote, and I'm sure if I said it out loud, someone would yell at me because it's breaking some kind of fucking rule. So it's just blah, blah, blah. She was touched and had to grow up at a young age and fucking she's gonna try to have sex with everybody when she's an adult, but it's never gonna fix it, ever. This movie just like, I feel like the government might come and get me because I watched it, you know? Like they're gonna get you. I enjoyed it. Um, when I, what really interested me was the trailer. It was very creepy, very like, ooh, I don't know about this, you know? And I like that, though. I like it a lot. So, um, I was not disappointed. I literally said when I watched the trailer, is this just gonna be like a bunch of satanic, like a satanic uh, fucking LSD trip or something? And the person was like, yes. I, Eli Hayes. I don't know if you know that motherfucker. Thank you. Mr. Man, um, but he was like, yeah, essentially, and I was like, cool, I'm all about it, and it turns out it was that and more, because it was like a storyline, and at the end, you're like, whoa, I get it now, that's so depressing, I'm gonna try to not kill myself, yeah, cool, see what you did there, it was smart, you're a smart cookie, while you're on drugs, you drug user, you. I don't know. Whatever. Bye.